Welcome everyone to Tech Hater. In this series, I'm gonna show you how to integrate Firebase to WordPress. And in this video, we're gonna go to the session that gonna help you to deploy Firebase function to your Firebase project. The importance of the cloud function is it helps you to interact with database users and other features securely. After you uh, download the plugin, you're gonna find that there are gonna be two zip files. One is integrate Firebase Pro for the WordPress plugin itself and the other one is Firebase WordPress functions. You're gonna uncompress it. Okay. Before you doing it, read the readme file to check the version of the uh, the plugin and the version of the uh, cloud function okay make sure that you have the right version okay so this is the content under the uh, firebase wordpress functions you can find the the version of the uh, cloud function under the packet.json Here you can see that the version is 0 0.8.0 which is correct and then we're gonna use the terminal we have to use the terminal in order to deploy the uh, cloud function to your firebase project okay. yeah you can you can see that I am under the, uh, the firebase wordpress functions and before I do anything, um, make sure that you're gonna have Node.js installed in your machines. If you don't have it, you can go to the Node.js.org and download and install it. So after you install, you can check the uh, version of Node by using this command. Yeah, make sure that it works. And the second part is you're gonna have to install the Firebase package to your machines. This package is gonna help you to deploy the cloud function to Firebase project. You can copy this command and then uh, run it. So I have that uh, Firebase tools installed on my machines. And after that, I can log in into uh, Firebase by using Firebase login. When you run this command, you're gonna open a tab on your browser, and then you're gonna use your Google account and then login, and then you're done. Okay. I already did it, so I'm gonna skip this one. Okay. We go to the next uh, part that we're gonna generate the token. We need uh, two token, one for dashboard and one for the front end we're gonna generate it uh, now okay. when you run this command it's gonna generate uh, a string for you and remember that you should keep this for yourself you can save it let me copy it okay dashboard token okay save it somewhere and then you're gonna run this command I'm gonna copy it here this is the token for the dashboard token and the project ID the project ID is you can find it when you log into uh, Firebase console you can go to project overview and then project setting and then copy it. This is my project ID. And then I'm gonna replace it. Okay. After that, I'm gonna run this command. Okay. So this is how you update the dashboard token. I'm gonna generate another token for the front end. Okay. 
This is another token. Another same, okay? Remember that keep your dashboard token secret. This is the second command for the front end token. And remember to remove the project ID and then use it uh, with your project ID. Okay. Okay. And then you run this command to update your ABI tokens. I'm not going to run it because I already have it set up. And after you run uh, successfully, you can check it uh, by using this command. Yeah, you can see that I have the dashboard token and then the front end token under the uh, API. And after we have everything, we're gonna go to the uh, function folder and then we're gonna start uh, deploying the project. So we done the setting for the tokens, and now we're gonna deploy the uh, function. So we're gonna go to the function folder. And then I'm gonna run uh, npm install. It will take uh, a few minutes. So the command is done and um, there is no error. And now we're gonna deploy the function. Remember to use your project ID. Okay, this is my project ID. And then I'm gonna run it. So this steps gonna help you to deploy the cloud um, the cloud function to your Firebase project. You can see that it uh, deployed into my project, the correct project. Meanwhile, I'm gonna log in into my uh, demo site. Okay. So I'm logging through the Firebase UI web. While I'm logging with this, it's gonna create. A user inside my WordPress. So I am logging to Firebase and WordPress at the same time. Okay. This is from Firebase. And this is the WordPress dashboard. We are going to update the uh, Firebase settings with the base domain and the uh, dashboard and front end token. Okay. It's under the settings tab. Look like we finished. Um, deploying the uh, functions okay usually when you first deploy the function it's gonna show you the base domain if you cannot find it you can go to uh, firebase console you're gonna go to the function tab and this is the, the function that uh, you have under your project and this is the base domain okay until .net So this is the base domain. Okay. So we have base domain, uh, dashboard token, and the uh, front end token. We have everything. So we're gonna go back to Firebase settings and then update base domain um, together with uh, the dashboard token. Okay, you paste here the dashboard token and the front end token okay front end token and then you're gonna save it so it's saved and now you can work with database users or message okay this is where you send a notification to a topic okay but you can check it by um, like try to access your Firebase database search okay here it means that everything works and you have the correct uh, configuration yeah we can try to check the, the users okay so you have everything ready and if you have any issues with the settings um, you can send me an email. I'm gonna put it under the uh, the video description.
and see you in the next uh, video. Thank you.